everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel and today we're going to do something a little bit different um, we're going to do a grocery haul just a very small one and then I'm going to show you my stockpile pantry food area um, my big freezer and we're going to do a little meal planning with all that that being said it's because I'm trying a new challenge and I didn't start it everyone's a lot of people started it in January and I think the people the woman that does it is Three Rivers Homestead. And uh, so there's a hashtag, and I'll leave it below. And if you click on it, oh my God, there's a lot of people doing it, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so I felt that I needed to do it only because I have a lot of food, and sometimes you just get in that rut of instead of looking through your pantry or looking through your cupboards and looking through your freezer, you just buy more, right? We've all done it. We all do it. And it's just a rut and you get into it, you get lazy, you're like, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna pull out from the back of the freezer, whatever. Well, I'm tired of doing that and so that's why I felt I needed to do this. Um, because it's just my husband and myself. Now I do cook five out of seven nights. So, but I'm just tired of, when I think of the money I'm spending because I'm just kind of being lazy and I've learned that in like maybe the last five, six months, like, Rachel, get your ass up and go downstairs and see if you got an extra one, right? Instead of just clicking on the button on Instacart. So, and I've been very proud of myself. I have come a long way. So, um, and like organizing the fridge when I did that and I realized how much food I was wasting, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm very disappointed in myself, my past self, I'm not doing it anymore. So, I'm smarter than that, I'm better than that. And I'm a good cook, so I'm gonna use this stuff up and I'm gonna make good meals out of it. So for the, like, I don't know what they call it, the food pantry, like you're supposed to be cooking from your pantry and in your freezer or whatever, pantry, shelf, staple meals, stuff like that. So it's, the point is you don't go to the grocery store, you don't buy anything, you use what you have in your home for like at least a month for January, which obviously that's over now. and. Some people are going into February, um, and so is Three Rivers Homestead. So I'm doing a variation, and a lot of people do a variation. Obviously, I have a home, but I don't have a farm. I don't have, you know, milk and stuff like that. So I have to go to the grocery store for fresh produce or uh, dairy stuff. Um, but for the most part, 90% of it I have. I have plenty of canned goods. I have plenty of meat. I have plenty of frozen vegetables. Um, so any fresh produce is the only thing I would be getting at the store. Um, my Coke Zero and Bacardi and Diet Pop for my husband. Um, <laughs> and stuff like that. So anything dairy. Other than that, I have plenty of stuff and I'm going to use it. And I'm going to be proud of myself for doing it. And I will say by the time I'm doing this video for you, I've already been doing it for two weeks. It's the first grocery well, it was delivered, but all that I had, um, it's very small and it's been two weeks and normally I would go once a week, sometimes twice a week for just stupid stuff because I was lazy and I'm not doing it anymore. So this is what I got. I got plenty of cheese in the, I do have plenty of cheese in my freezer, which you'll see. I'll show you that all kinds of stuff. So this is just a small haul. Um, things I really kind of wanted to have, um, little extras. And I hope I inspire you if you haven't heard of this challenge already. If you have, thanks for having me part of it because you've inspired me a lot. I've watched a lot of videos on it. And I will say in the last two weeks, I've come up with some amazing meals. Like, pat myself on the back. I'm using my cookbooks, using a little Pinterest, but I'm going back to my cookbooks. I have so many of them. I'm just trying to, like, reconnect with my inner self in cooking. <laughs> so, um... So I'm using my cookbooks and I have a lot of old ones too. So going through those, finding great recipes to use up my root vegetables and all these kinds of vegetables that I get from un or un -perfect, imperfect foods, stuff like that. Um, I have another source that I'm getting cheap vegetables from and cheap some cheap meat only because if you find meat cheap or on clearance, you better buy it. I know if I'm doing this, that's fine. I'm just not going to use it for this this next month because I have other meat that needs to be used instead, right? 
But if it's on sale or clearance and I need to get it, I'm going to get it. I'm just not going to use it until I'm done cleaning out some of the other stuff first. But then it's also fun. You get in your cupboards, you get in your freezer, and you get in there and you're like, oh, yeah, I really need to just come up with a recipe for this one. I need to come up with the meal for this piece of meat. I need to, I have 30 cans of green beans. I need to do something with some of these green beans, right? That's what you need to do. Don't be wasting your food. Don't be wasted. That's just money you're just throwing out. And right now, this stuff is so expensive. So don't waste it. Don't go to the grocery store. You know you have food in your freezers. Most of us have an extra freezer along with the regular freezer, right? In my regular freezer here, I keep mostly like freezer meals that I've done, which I make them and then I forget to use them. Not this week. Not this week, baby. I'm going to use one of them. And um, stuff like that. And so in here, or I'll have, in here I have like pre-made um, breakfast things or something like that or some of the ice cream. Out my other freezer, standing freezer, that is all like the meats and extra vegetables and a few like extra like spinach artichoke dip that I made a couple of and I put one out in the freezer, stuff like that out there, you know. But I'm telling you, I had no idea that I found three bags of meatballs, frozen meatballs, because I buy them. If I have extra money, I'm like, oh, I'll buy them and stick them in there and whatever because I use them for parties and stuff like that. I'm making a meal out of them this week and I can't wait and I'm super excited about it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna leave one bag so I have it in case we do a get together, but I'm gonna work on the other two. I don't need three bags of meatballs. Um, stuff like that. Like, I have plenty of meat. I'm not, there's no reason that I need to spend $100 at the grocery store every week. Not right now. I figure back in March, I will start to do, I'll see how far I've come and what I've used and I'll make a list as I'm going of things I want to start stocking back up again in the pantry part. So if I'm getting down on my canned tomatoes, then I'm going to spend maybe $5, $5 a week to add extra to the pantry again. And then I'll have it all stocked back up and ready for, you know, when I need it for whatever, you know, and then also the next time I do it again. And I might do another one. I don't know, maybe in August or September or something like that. Anyway, I don't want things to go bad. It's stupid. It's stupid on my part. It's just very disappointing. So it's not going to happen anymore. And I really love the creativity it brings out of me. So exciting. Anyway, so I know you don't want to hear me babble all this time. And now I'm dry. So let's get started on the little haul and then we'll go see my freezer and my pantry and meal plan. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Okay, so I told you, it's very little. It's all there is. So my husband loves Diet Sunkist, and this is not always at the store. I can tell you that right now. When I would do my normal grocery things, maybe half the time they'd have it, maybe not. It'd be like one out of three or four times. So when I get it, I get it. So that's his pop. He likes to take one in the morning with him. Um, I had to get my Coke Zeros. So I got, I do the two liters because I'm at home drinking them. So saves me money that way using the, and I use them all the way up. Um, this bread, if you've never tried it, and I shouldn't tell you about it because if you're in my area and you buy it, I'm going to be mad <laughs> because it's the five seed uh, carb smart. This bread is amazing. It is amazing. My husband and I love it. And what's sad is I have two other breads in the freezer and here I'm going against what I said, right? I will use those for toast and stuff. This is good for toast and sandwiches. So this has got, oh, it's so good. I love it. We were just talking about it again last night. We were out to eat and we're like, oh God, I just love that we found that bread. Um, Parmesan cheese. I have a lot of cheeses, but I ran out of Parmesan. And my husband likes Caesar salad and I have the romaine lettuce in the fridge. So I want to, I usually give him a salad maybe twice a week. So I'm out of parm, the shredded parm to put on the salad. And then... We're pretty much out of the Caesar dressing. It's down to the nitty gritty. So I'm like, I'm just going to get one now for him so he can have that. Um, I have ranches and everything else. He just recently started started to really like Caesar dressing and Caesar salad. So that's why I haven't stocked up on it. But I will in the future. Um, some unsweetened almond milk because I have plenty 
of boxed puddings downstairs and I can just make our own pudding instead of buying the little pre-packaged puddings. So for his lunch, we still have a few of those left for his lunch, but I'm gonna make him some banana pudding with that. Um, he loves banana pudding. Kai's cheese, um, I haven't bought it in a couple weeks. I do like to give it as an extra in his lunch every other day or so. So I'm gonna put those in little containers and I'm ready for his lunch. Heavy cream, I have just like a little bit left in the fridge and I'll be using that up and it lasts a long time in the fridge anyway. But like I said, I need dairy. Um, plastic spoons, yeah, I have everything else but plastic spoons. So I needed that. I did get an extra one of these just in case. We had a little bit of like, I usually take Sudafed every day because I don't know, damn allergy, sinus, crap, whatever. One ear's plugged, then the other ear's plugged. <laughs> so we were out, so I had to get some of that. Um, special dark candy, that is for my husband. I had him stockpiled. I had like five of them, but he, he even got them for Christmas, but now he's done, totally out last night. So I'm like, fine, I'll get you some more. Makes him happy. Uh, this diet juice, I should've got an extra one, but I had two. And he's already drank both. He's almost done with the second one. So, and he likes to have this at night and sometimes in the morning for breakfast. And I like it too, but it makes him happy. So I just mostly let him drink it. Um, you can see these are open. Those are for zipper because the minute the groceries get delivered, he believes that in every grocery haul, there's something for him. So he attacked the bag and I had to open it and give it to him. You would have thought it was a real turkey. These are not for us. This is for my little... Um, if you follow me, the little basket I put outside for the UPS people and the Amazon people and the post office people and the people that deliver my groceries, I put snacks and waters and juices, stuff like that out there for them. And I was getting a little, I have chips and stuff like that. And I thought, oh, these $1.49, I'll get those and put them in the container. And then bananas, because my husband gets a banana every day in his lunch. So I am out. <laughs> so I had to get them. But look how ginormous these are, you guys. My God. They're huge. So yeah, so that's my, there's my drink. <laughs> that's my little haul. And I'm pretty proud of myself. It was only like 50 some dollars. That is cheap for me. Um, these are the most expensive things probably. So, and I think now let's get moving on to some pantry. Okay, don't judge. It might be a little messy. <laughs> but as you can see, I have plenty of green beans. Um, corn, stuff like that. I have plenty of broth. I even have, probably from Thanksgiving, I have mashed potatoes. Um, I have some rice left over. But we don't eat it very often, but I'm not going to get rid of it. And I have more mashed potatoes, but they last forever. But I bought too many, kind of like, you know, when this whole virus thing started and you panicked and you just wanted whatever food you could get type thing so i have those back there i will use them at some point um but just not currently right now I'm not in the mood for that stuff um i do have these rice cauliflowers in the bag these are actually very good where did i get these from is it costco maybe i've, I've used one um i got some extra potatoes back there but i think i'm going to use one of these this week with those meatballs so anyway i have our kind of pasta, low carb pasta. Um, we do have some low carb. I don't know if you can see them back there. Lasagna. These are taco shells that are low carb, and I bought them online. I haven't used them yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Down here, I have plenty of salsa to use. I have enchilada sauces. I have these are soy black beans. They're kind of hard to find, but they're low carb, and so we use those once in a blue moon. Um, Oh, I do have chipotles. See, you guys, I didn't realize I had them and I didn't buy them, but I found a recipe I wanted to use. So, hmm. See, you don't think you have stuff. Plenty of tomato paste for right now. Uh, Rotels, tomato sauces back here, my hunt sauces, my diced tomatoes, this big ass giant <laughs> thing of marinara sauce. Yeah because they didn't have the small one and so I'm like fine I'll take that one thing of pizza sauce I have plenty plenty of this stuff okay plenty to last for a while 
Okay, over here I have like my sweeteners and stuff for sugar-free stuff. Um, I have more croutons for Chris to put on his Caesar salad. I even have Italian ones back there. I only remember buying those. Um, this, oh, have you ever made this with all chicken stock and lots and lots of butter? It is amazing. Amazing. So anyway, we keep one on hand in case we're having one of those bad days. <laughs> um... Banana pepper rings. I got pickles. I have olives, plenty of olives. So I need to find something to do with olives too. Um, the pimentos, plenty of pimentos. I have baked beans and stuff. I think I got those for like during the summer. So I probably won't use those right now, but I will definitely get those used up shortly. Um, extra bacon bits in case I need them. More banana pepper rings that I could probably move up there. Cream of onion. Cream of chicken, French onion. I got deviled ham and like the spam, fake spam, canned chicken, tuna. Um, my sugar free barbecue sauces. Sun dried. Oh, see, I was looking. I didn't know I had those either, you guys. See what happens? Cheese sauce because I have a recipe I want to eat. I love sun dried tomatoes. But I thought I got, I didn't think I had any left. Uh, this is just the cheese sauce stuff. I don't know where I got that from. Oh, you know, I think I wanted some more of the queso dip, and it was out one day, and so they said, do you want that? And I said, sure, I'll find, I'll try it, which is kind of like this jalapeno cheese sauce that you can get these at the dollar store. These are all my little seasoning packets, people. Look at all that. I don't even know what that is. Oh, lots of onion soup mix. Sorry if this is jankity. All right, so I have, <laughs> these are my crackers and onion nut Cheerios and stuff from when, you know, this all started. And you freaked out and wanted to have stuff, right? So my husband loves honey nut Cheerios. And I'm going to look at the expiration date on that. I may just use those for the cabin when we go um, in the summer if it's still good. I'm sure they will be. I'll just use those. This is his favorite. And I'm not going to lie. It's really good. Um, this Chicago, is it the Chicago mix or what they call it? Cheese and caramel mix. Oh my God, that stuff is so amazing. So his cousin buys it for us every once in a while when he goes to Costco or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's so good. But it's got a long shelf life and it could just stay there for right now. Um, I do have extra crackers that haven't been opened. That's in case like they're wheat crackers, whatever. Um, we have guests over. And here is my sugar-free puddings, which I'm going to take this one upstairs. And I'm going to make banana pudding tonight for dinner. Um, my almond flour, triscuits that are open, but they're very well sealed, so whatever. So these are things that we won't eat a lot of, but we do have them in case we want to have a little binge day. My extra seasonings. These are my lime or my what do you call them? Jellos. Uh, extra seasonings. And in case I need anything, um, like olive oil, stuff like that. Cheese whiz. Everyone needs a good cheese whiz. My hot cocoa, jelly, sweet condensed milk for baking, stuff like that. This is all baking crap right here that I don't do a lot of but during the holidays you know so I stock up on a lot of my cake mixes I like I got a lot of pumpkin that I can use anytime nuts sugars down here is my flour my extra sugar and here's where I'm storing my onions for right now so I put them in a the basket see that bag I have to rip it open and I'm not strong enough to do it and I don't want to break a nail <laughs> so anyway that's my pantry I think I covered it off for right now and I also have water that I broke into in a couple jugs of water here. Okay, so quickly I'm going to show you my freezer that's in the kitchen. Um, this is where if I open like a bag of vegetables and I don't use it all, I put it here so I can remember to use them. So like this is open bag of green beans. I've used it probably twice now, so I got a little bit left still. So I'll make something with that. Um, and here are some of the freezer meals. This is Sloppy Joe's. I think that's one of the things I'm going to use this week. And let me see. Let me see. Okay, so chicken breasts. I might use those this week. So if they're in here, it's because I open another package and then I don't want to forget about them and I leave them in here. And look at what the hell is this? Oh, my veggie tots that I opened didn't use all of them. I'm definitely using those this week. I'm going to use that with my meatball situation, I think. Um, totally forgot I had these. 
chicken breast tenderloin. I could easily make those for lunches when I come home. That see, you forget. I forget these things are in here. And this is cold. This is really, really, really cold in my arm. Um, so there's a few freezy meals. I want to use those up. Here's chopped celery that I've done. This is my, that bag for, oh, you know, for my stock. I'm doing, um, and I don't even eat fish, but I bought these because I just wanted to try and get like a fish, lit, fish stick kind of feel and make tartar sauce and eat it, but have it healthy for me. I got two left. I ate one. It was okay. Um, chicken wings that are open, so, and I don't do a lot of this stuff, pre-done stuff, but sometimes for lunch, you need something quick. Um, so anyway, this, I'm saving all my scraps from vegetables when I'm cutting them up, onions, carrots, and all that, and I'm going to make a stock out of it. So I'm super excited about that, I'm not going to lie. Alright, I'm going to suck it back in there and we'll figure that out later. Alright, you guys, this is the big freezer outside. Uh, well, not outside. <laughs> it's in my garage. But, so, this is like leftover ham that I need to use in a soup or something like that. I don't know what the hell that is. That's ravioli. See, I got a bread up here that I'm going to use. I'm not going to buy any more bread. I don't know what that noise was. It's a weird noise. Um, More bread here. But I got hams. I got whole coin roasts. I got stuff down here. Meatballs. Meatballs. I'm too close. So, um, vegetables. I got a chicken. I should probably use up. That's been in there a while. Ribs. This is all meat from that meat haul that we get from the fair meat. It's a lot of meat. My burger. Um, more meatballs. More roasts. More meatballs, people. <laughs> It's happening. Brown lamb. Hold on. Ugh. Let me get it. Okay. It's dangerous in here. Okay. So then over here I have cheese. Lots of cheese. I'm going to actually take one of these out. A mild cheddar. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe I this. this is cheese I got at Gordon's. And I suction it up. I think I'm going to do that instead. Cranberries. Sausages, veggies, the veggie top things, um, an open thing of toast. Jeez, I need to clean in here. Oh, good, I do have some color rice. And these, my friend had a garden and gave me so many, oh, what is this? This is green pepper, jalapenos. And the other day when I was trying to use what I had, I'm like, I think I have jalapenos out here. And I did. I took, got off my butt, came out here and looked, and found that I had jalapenos. And I used two of them in our meal that we had, our soup. It was so good. And bacon, stuff like that. Okay, so that being said, let's get to our meal planning, shall we? Um, so let's start off with Tuesday. Every Tuesday, pretty much, we have a dinner club. A group of our friends gets together and we go out to eat at different places. So I don't have to cook on Tuesdays. Usually, okay, so this will be the week of Valentine's coming up. So Friday, we're not eating out. Saturday, we're eating out. And Sunday is Super Bowl. So I'm going to do like appetizers for that and stuff to eat. I just haven't decided what yet because you know. This is how it's going to work for me. I'm going to look up a thousand different recipes and can't decide what I want to do. <sighs> Wait till the last minute and then figure it out. So that's, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do for those. But So I'm going to put apps because I know that. Um, Monday, I don't have anything going on. I don't think. Um, so I do, you didn't see it, but when I was digging through there, I did find some... Um, seasoned pork chops and I have fresh green beans in my fridge that I got from Imperfect Foods and they're good but I don't want them to go bad either you know what I mean like they're fresh so um I think I'm gonna do the pork chops and fresh 
green beans. Now, what I'm going to do with them, I don't know. I'm sure I'll come up with some. Uh, they're not just going to be green beans. I'm going to. Zipper says hi. Um, he's been sleeping for two hours. <laughs> anyway. So I think I'll do something with that, but I just don't know what I want to do with green beans yet. If I want to make them in a. They, I mean, they're fresh, so I don't necessarily want to do a casserole with them. You know what I mean? But we'll see. Um. Maybe I'll roast them with some onions. I don't know. And so the dinner club, I think Wednesday is, I'm going to do this with one of those meatball packages. Meatballs, gravy, and over those, oh, I don't know why I dotted my T, you guys. But anyway, <laughs> um, the tots. So I'm going to do like a meatball with the onion, okay. Don't, don't mind us. Just passing through. Just get your little sexy leg out of there. Um, meatballs with a gravy onion. Uh, onion gravy, let's say. Over tater tots. I think it's going to be amazing. Might add some cheese in there. I don't know. I'm just going to wing it. See how it goes. But. Then, let me see. Thursday. I know I have to do. I have to upload a video for Valentine's Day with my friend Linda. And that has to go out for Friday. So I'll probably be more than likely because I wait till the last night to do that Thursday night. So I have to do a V-Day video for Valentine's Day. Just haven't decided. Um, so I was gonna do, look at him. I brought the hamper down so I could put the laundry in and he is obsessed with this hamper. Do you mind? Just wait. Complain it when I put the laundry in. Jeez, please, child. Okay. So, I think I'm going to use that Sloppy Joe's. The freezer meal Sloppy Joe's this night. Because I'll be busy doing um, a video for this upload. And I won't have a lot of time to do something else. So, I'm going to do that video and have the Sloppy Joe's all ready for me. So... There we go. We're using one of the freezer meals out of there. Friday night. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you could do it that night. I got chick. I saw those chicken breasts, right? So I need to do something with the chicken breasts. I could do chicken salsa soup. Because my husband will probably work late that night anyway. And I... And still going to be cold, right? So chicken salsa soup. Because I could, yeah, definitely, I could do that. Because I have the chicken breasts and I could throw those in the crock pot. And I have plenty of salsa, as you saw downstairs. Do you mind? People don't really want you just like furry little butt running around. And we're eating out that day. And a lot of these will be for leftovers. So I don't know if I'll have much of the pork chops and green beans left over for leftovers, I'm not for sure, but that's okay because I have other stuff for a Monday for leftovers for lunch. Um, meatballs, gravy. Why do I, you know what? We're gonna switch this because I keep saying it wrong. <laughs> Onion gravy and tots. I'm sure we'll have leftovers for that, so we can use that for Thursday and Friday for lunches. Uh, sloppy Joe's, we'll probably have a little bit of that for leftovers for the weekend. Chicken salt soup, definitely, but that's also good that I can use into Monday for lunch for my husband. Super Bowl apps, I still have to work on that, and I'll probably do a video on it, so stay tuned. Um, here he comes again. Yep. Yep. Gotta stop right here. Move your butt. It's rude. Jeez Louise, child. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Okay, so what'd you think? See all the stuff I have? I hope I inspired you to use what you have in your freezer and your pantry. Because these people from Three Rivers Homestead have truly inspired me. And all the people that are doing it. They did it last year too, but I didn't know about it. So, um, anyway, I'm going to put this little food hall away and... Gonna work on some prepping. 
oh, you know what? Hang around for a little bit. I'm gonna do up some breakfast burritos and sausage balls real quick. Um, I'll show you that little video. I'm ending it here, but after that, it'll be over. But I have some, we made breakfast burritos this morning. Well, I did for breakfast and I had the sausage already out. So I'm like, well, I'll make half of it into sausage balls and half of it into more, excuse me, um, more burritos and put them in the freezer. So as an extra breakfast thing, because otherwise we just eat during the week scrambled eggs in the morning. So, um, so every once in a while it's nice to like, if I have the sausage balls already made up, I can pull those out, heat them up and add them with our eggs or like a breakfast burrito. They were good. Very good. Then I took, I'm talking. Um, and then I took sour cream and added some hot sauce to it and used it to dip the breakfast burrito in. Oh my Lord. It was good. Okay. So anyway, hopefully I'll get some of these videos up um okay so i don't know i'm babbling now anyway stay tuned i'm gonna end it here and say goodbye but just watch for a little bit and you'll oh my god zipper are you guys still there hey okay i gotta go before he kills me <laughs> so i spilled my drink um all right so stay tuned here hold on and i'll show you a little bit of footage of the breakfast burritos and the sausage balls cheers <laughs>